This is the story of how a golf ball changed my life. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Hi everyone. James Robinson here. Guys, first of all, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button below. That way you won't miss any of the great golf related content that I bring to you guys every single day. Today's a special video for me. Oh, go, fly, go. Yes. It's how I started my YouTube career, sort of. You see guys, what seems like an eternity ago, but really wasn't that long ago, I started a YouTube channel. It's been about, been about 18 months, two years. And I was plugging away, I was doing videos, I was doing loads of shop hours, I was teaching my heart out because I absolutely love golf and I couldn't think of anything else where I would work apart from in golf, especially teaching. So I thought I'd start a YouTube channel. This, this video does progress onto a ball, I promise. But you see, with YouTube, there are certain things you can do, certain things you can't do, and certain ways of growing a channel. So I was doing product reviews, similar to as I do now. I don't think I was doing daily content at the time because I was working 70 hours a week, 60 hours a week as well. But now we're not. You see guys, now I am what is known commonly as a full-time YouTuber. I still teach, I still really enjoy working in golf. Obviously the channel is based around golf and I'm still a PGA professional. But there was one thing that really did it for me, which kicked off my career, and it was these. Well, not exactly these, but it was the first initial ever Titleist AVX golf ball. And you see the reason why that was, ever heard of the word embargo? You're forgiven if you hadn't, because I hadn't at the time either. This is where the story grows. Lovely bit of stop there with the new Titleist AVX. Because you see, for me, when I started doing product reviews, I had no idea what the word embargo meant, that you couldn't talk about something before a certain time, which is basically what embargo means. So then, when a member from here at Huddersfield came back from Florida, and he had, and he had a few sleeves of the brand new Titleist AVX, I thought, absolutely, yes please, that's a bit of me. No one's seen that before. I haven't seen that before. Let's do a video on them. And I did. Go. Get up. So I worked really hard on the video. I got the drone, which I just bought and I was mega excited about. I made the video really, in my opinion, really good. I tested it against the Pro V1. I even called it, I even called it, is this the end of the Pro V1? Or is the Pro V1 dead? Or something like that. And I remember being down in London at the time and it getting loads of views. It got like 700 views in a day. Oh, yes, please. Which like at the time was a lot. Now it's, I mean, it's now, now it's not as much as it was, but it was a load at the time. So guys, I've added this little bit in and you can probably tell that that ball is moving quite slowly and my voice doesn't sound the same. But this is, oh, what about that one there? This is for people who, who, if you are a YouTuber, don't think that you have to, don't think you have to have that one video. That one video for me did well. It got me, probably got me about a thousand subscribers. I think at the time, I think I was trying to get to maybe 2000 and it got me over the line. But if it wasn't that video on the AVX, I'm sure at one point it would have been something else. I've had other videos that have gone viral and gone past that. So if you do have your own channel and you are trying to keep plugging away, keep putting those videos out, you'll get the viral one and you will get there eventually. And then I very quickly found out what embargo meant because I shouldn't have really put the video out. But I didn't know. And to be fair, the video did quite well. I think Titleist were quite pleased that the video did well. People were seeing it. I was giving it an honest review and honest opinion. Let's be fair, the, the ball that made my career, I mean, it's not, it's not the, uh, I mean, it's not the ball for me. But you see, that's okay. It's okay for a product not to be for me. And that was kind of one of the biggest learning curves I've got when it comes to reviewing golf clubs. It doesn't make it, it doesn't make it a bad product if it's not for me, but I've got to give it a fair review for you. And the timing for this video now is obviously we've got a new AVX out. We've got a new AVX Mark II kind of thing. What? 
So I thought I'd do a bit of a video on it and I thought I'd talk about it and just, just reminisce about old times really. Also guys, because it's not the ball for me, I thought, well, I'll do a video on it and I'll give it to you guys at home. So I've got a dozen of the AVX white and get ready for this. I have a dozen of the AVX in yellow to give away as well. So guys, if you do want to win those, because you have to be a subscriber to the channel, you have to like this video and just comment below AVX. And so guys, while the differences in the new AVX to the old AVX are fairly minimal, it is designed to give you that little bit lower spin by a little bit lower spin on the box. It says very low long game spin and iron spin. So basically, if you balloon it up in the air, you play a lot of Lynx golf, you want to keep that ball down, let me try the AVX. You'll see here that on the box it says the new Titleist AVX golf ball is designed for greater ball speed, longer distance, along with increased green side spin and control, exceptionally soft feel. The result is a total performance for golfers seeking the lowest flight, lowest spin and lowest feel of any premium performance Titleist golf ball. So it's not a ball for everyone, but it's definitely a ball that you should give a go. I was lucky enough to go out to Spain not long ago to meet Bob Voki and the Titleist golf ball experts were there as well. And they were telling me about all the differences, the variances in launch, the variances in spin, the variances in feel. And for me, one of the big differences was that difference in feel. It's got a urethane cover on this golf ball. The new ball does have a thinner urethane elastoma cover. Have I got that right first time? Thinner cast urethane elastoma cover system. Got it right first time, get in. And that is supposed to provide greater ball speed and greater green side spin and control. Awesome. Right, got a hybrid I think here. It does come out like an absolute knuckle ball to be fair, especially out the rough. Clean that up. Better pick that up as well, we don't be leaving these. These are the white ones. The new AVX also has a new larger core formulation and that's supposed to generate high speed and low long game spin. What else do we have on here? There's a lot on the back of this box, isn't there? We have a unique Cantry aerodynamic dimple system. I do remember that from the last bullet, so the dimples look really, really, really deep. And we also have a redesigned high flex casing layer that promotes higher ball speed and lower spin on long shots. So basically it's doing everything that the old one did, just a little bit more. You see, it is a really funny one because although I've pretty much decided the AVX isn't the ball for me and when I did a ball fitting with Joe from Titleist, we decided together that the AVX wasn't the ball for me. When I play Titleist balls, it's usually a Pro V1, very rarely, but sometimes a Pro V1X. But on days like today where it's super windy, you can probably hear on the audio of the video, I'm playing a par five uphill into the wind I've just hit a three and a hybrid and it's gone, it's gone okay. And it was definitely lower spin. You see, that's why the camera's on the ground so much at the moment, because it is very, very windy. So this could be the perfect ball, not necessarily for me, but it could be the perfect ball for today. Let's try playing a nice linksy bump in there with a seven iron. Oh. That could be okay actually. Winter in the UK. And so guys, there you have it. That is how a golf ball basically changed my career. You could say my life because I'm doing this full time now and I absolutely love it. Guys, if you do want to win a dozen of these Titleist AVX in the white or in the yellow, make sure you comment below AVX. Make sure you are a subscriber to the channel because why wouldn't you want to be anyway? And also make sure you like this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying the ride. I remember being sat in that pub in London when the views kept ticking up and ticking up and ticking up. And it was the first time anything had ever took off like that. What a feeling it was. What a feeling, guys. Thanks once again. And as always, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Okay, so it's finished a little bit short, but not bad.